anyone that's had the pleasure of attending any of my various committee meetings knows that I often have a lot to say, so I'm going to try to keep it to a tight four. Thank you for the reminder. Hello. I echo the gratitude I've heard my fellow candidates say all night. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. Thank you for being here. Hi, I'm Lauren Dukas, and I am running for school board. So, who am I? I am a forthright, dedicated Goffstown resident, a mother of four, a special educator, a substitute teacher, a former out-of-district school board chair, a volunteer for youth organizations and after-school enrichment programs. I live a life dedicated to service. I am a person who asks, where is the need and what can I do to help? To that end, I ran for and was privileged to be elected to your budget committee in 2021, where I gained invaluable insight into the financial operation of our district. I have toured every school, met with school administrators, and I have served on multiple subcommittees across the town, such as CIP, School Facilities Planning, and the Mountain View Middle School Principal Search Committee. I do my research, and I bring that knowledge to everything that I do. As my budget term ends, I find myself drawn to my core interest, school governance. And I see three main areas of concern for our school district right now. My first pressing concern is policy review. A well-supported student grows into a civically-minded, responsible member of our community. I therefore champion crafting and upholding policy that supports a safe school environment, that respects and encourages an open exchange of differing beliefs and opinions. My second issue is our growth. Having served on the school board subcommittee for facilities planning, I deeply understand our growth needs. Goffstown continues to attract new residents, and our school district must be ready to accommodate its new populace. Class sizes of nearly 30 and some levels of Maple Ave is not acceptable. There are global options available to us that would repurpose town and school buildings to address our school space needs and alleviate some aging infrastructure in town. We need to actively evaluate and pursue these options. The third major concern I'd have is our staffing. Finding qualified staff remains an immense issue for our district. Even with the passage of the collective bargaining agreement, I was privileged to recommend to the voters last year. We will not be able to attract, an, is that my time? No, okay. Whew. Oh, thank you. I was very nervous. We will not be able to attract and retain qualified individuals if their working environments are outdated and overcrowded, not to mention the downstream effect this will have on the quality of our educational offerings. So, why should you consider me for a member of your school board to address these issues? I will use my strong voice to uphold the board's mission and guiding principles of operating a safe, caring, supportive environment that fosters lifelong learning. I will advocate for every student and their space to learn, regardless of what they believe, the holidays they keep, the books they read, or the names they use. I will help to craft and uphold policy that creates opportunity and accessibility while respecting families' rights for their own children. I will use my budgetary oversight experience to craft effective budgets that retain our staff, support our infrastructure, and create excellent educational opportunities. And I will support our long-term planning and continued growth to keep Goffstown a desirable and wonderful place to live. Strong public schools build a strong community. I ask for your vote on March 12th so I may use my unique, multifaceted perspective and wealth of information to continue this good work. Please look me up at Facebook. Please feel free to stop me anywhere you see me for a chat, including after tonight's event. I'm always happy to engage in the community. I really believe our first responsibility as elected officials is to engage with the public, and I'm here to do that for you. Thank you for your commitment to being engaged citizens.